Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new edition of Graveyard Talk. I hope everybody is doing a okay out there. I uh, got another treat for you uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. These guys kick ass. I, I I really dig them a lot, and and I know you guys will too out there. This is a great name for a band too. Another demon out of the great great New York City area, which is one of my all time favorite favorite towns. And all, Frank, thanks for joining me, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Robert. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? You doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's yeah. Like Happy to be here. There you go. Glad to have you with me. So uh, let, let's just, just jump, jump right in. Uh, let, let's go. Uh, Another Demon. Why that name for the band? So um, we, uh, I, when I first started jamming during uh, COVID with an old bandmate of mine, we were uh, going over names and one of our old songs was called Inner Demon. And we were, we had a little debate and he's like, yeah, it's kind of cliche to call it that, right. you know? Uh, so we thought another demon was was kind of cool, and uh, thinking back to CD store stuff, maybe it'd be in the first row you get into when you get into the metal section. So you know, it's nice. pretty nice right there. Nice, I like that. Uh, I, I want to ask you uh, the origin of the band. How far back do you guys go? Uh, we started um, we started in the summer of 2020. Okay. Uh, me and me and my old bandmate, who's also named Frank. Mm -hmm. um, who uh who bowed out of the band for health issues oh, uh he was the that. drummer mm -hmm. yeah um but uh we started in 2020 kind of did it a little loosey-goosey um i was in uh, another band as well i was in a power metal band uh cool. and uh we finally got everything together and clicked earlier uh this uh, well in 2023 mm -hmm. um and uh we got our album together and uh, did a release in September 2023, and this is the lineup we have, and we're very happy. I like that. Uh, just, just real quick, because we don't want to forget anybody, uh, you want to introduce the rest of the band who you're playing with now? Sure. So um, the the band is myself, mm -hmm. um, Max Capshaw, who's uh, he's a multi instrumentalist. He uh, played as the touring drummer for sick of it all he's a founding member of the band h2o uh he also played with um uh murphy's law as well he wow. does session jazz drums and this and that but in our band and mm -hmm. uh he's the lyricist uh, the bass player and the vocalist and uh he kicks ass um my guitar partner is a gentleman by the name of june takashita uh, he's from uh, Brooklyn, but originally from Japan. So he's, okay, cool. he's a dual citizen of both countries. I like that. Um, he's a, he's a amazing shredder, uh, and he brings a lot to the table. And um, my old bandmate, uh, Jorge Hernandez Rodriguez, from Lost Legacy, is our drummer. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, the, he's the young engine of the band with, the, uh, with those feet. And I love them. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it, it's amazing. I I was always blown away by people that could drum like that. When I I was listening to your mm. songs, I was like, good. My legs would just fly off. They would just detach, and you know, they go two different directions, and that that would be it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll we'll get into the band a little bit more. But you and I were talking about a subject that I, I really wanted to dig into, and that is, do people still buy? physical cds is there has that changed has that boat you know, sales so so the cool thing is at least in um in the tri-state area that we've basically played in in new york uh mm -hmm. for our first 10 shows um we sold a lot of cds so mm -hmm. the answer is yes going Good. into this i thought because i listened to all my music on this thing right uh mm -hmm. you know CDs were were gone, you know. You see people hodgepodging the covers to like walls and stuff and bars and stuff. So, sure. um, but Max, our singer, was uh, pretty staunch about we need to have a physical CD, and he was absolutely right. That's cool. Yeah, that I I like that. I just you know I had to ask you that question because like I said we were talking about it before, but you know uh, I, I'll say it. I'm old. Okay, I'm far far too old for this planet. But anyway. 
I, I, I've seen the change, you know, and I, I, I just, uh, I, I think it could start being the end of physical media. Uh, I, I heard uh, Best Buy isn't going to sell DVDs, CDs, and all that stuff anymore. And I was like, wow. I, I never thought I'd see the day where that happened uh, and all. But yeah, I'm glad you guys were able to, you know, sell something, you know, sell, sell your, uh, your uh, physical CDs. That's great. That's great. Yeah, and we we also we we recorded a uh, a vinyl too. Did you really? And, and uh, uh, we we did a direct vinyl session not too long ago, and that sold. You had to pre-sale it, so um, it was a funny situation. We uh, we did a song direct to vinyl, mm -hmm. uh, based on pre-orders. So we had to end up playing a song uh, almost thirty times because it was you play it, uh -huh. it goes onto the lathe. And they cut this uh, the the vinyl, right? You have to do it all over again to oh. save. So it's got that old that old school feel from like the fifties, nice. you know. So it's you're either doing one thing or you're doing the other, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that brings back memories of that. Good gravy! Wow, the fifties live on. It's a yeah. great great thing. Um, I wanted 50s to ask live you. Live on with now metal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure. Uh, I, I want to ask you because uh, you know uh, people say this is a dumb question. I really don't think it is because I like hearing this. But uh, I, I would love to know your influences. Who, who guided you into this direction of music? So for me personally, um, I grew up in a very odd situation, and my uh, my parents kind of had like a heavy metal partridge family thing going on. So. <laughs> Uh, okay. I, I experienced an eighties hair metal band as a kid growing up. Uh -huh. Um, their music was a little, uh, light for me, I'd okay. say. Okay. Um, I remember as a kid, I saw the Judas Priest Defenders of the Faith album cover mm -hmm. and I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. And, um, then when I was about 10, I discovered Merciful Fate and nice. mm -hmm. I was corrupted ever since then. So they say, nice. but, um, I'm I'm a I'm a thrash guy, so oh, okay. I, I love yeah. thrash. I think it's the best medium of all kinds of metal. It brings the extreme, it brings the uh it brings the mainstream all together and shreds. Yeah. Do you do you like the, the fact that it's it's not boring music? It's it's good blood pumping, get you know, in your face music. Is that why you know, is that what brings it uh, home for you? Yeah. Oh it, it's it, pumping music but it has testament who at least now nowadays they're very polished and very very clean and and uh i would say a little bit more artsy than they used to be even though they're heavy right then you have bands like like exodus which just come out and punch you right in the face right. with every song you know? right so which that's I like and that that's my favorite band cool. in the world actually cool yeah. i like that yeah, you know, I'm, I'm the same as I've grown up, and I still listen to it. But I, the heavier, the better. Um, I, I love that music that you can put the headphones on, crank it up, and the outside world ceases to exist. You're just in that that zone, and that's why I like your guys' music because I mean, I just you know way on up there, and I was like, great, great. I can't hear anything other than your band. Perfect. That's good. Shut the rest of the world out. And, and, and that's really, that's really cool. Uh, I, I want to talk about your record, if we could, about your EP. Um, sure. I, I wanted to find out uh, why. Uh, so I, I noticed that some had five songs, but on Bandcamp, there's six. Is that a Bandcamp exclusive or is it just something to happen? So you're making me question something hold on a okay yeah come on come on back whenever you <laughs> feel like it join me hi no, everybody no. so uh this yeah. is our this is our uh our cd uh -huh. and yeah. and this one does have five on it okay. there were a couple of things that went on um while we were recording and, and honestly max our singer had a had another project that i guessed it on guitar for mm -hmm. and um it was recorded before we recorded this uh, for a different thing. And we play it. That song's name is Skull Vessel. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, we said, you know, when we were putting it out, it's already recorded. Why don't we just 
finish it up and put it out on this seat on this so mm -hmm. we when we initially were planning the release we had five songs and then okay. added that minute and a half beauty uh on there nice uh, yeah i was like i i, I had to ask because I'm like, is it five or six? I'm hoping it's six, and it did become six, so that's good. It's it's a good thing. Uh, let, let's talk about the songs, if, if that's okay with you. I th I thought we would, you know, analyze each one and and, and let everybody know uh, what to expect when the uh, the millions of them buy your CD. Uh, so you know, I want to make sure all all ten million copies that you will sell uh, are, are good. So, uh, so let's, let's I, I don't want to go to the wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh it, look look this time next year you'll be getting awards left and right all right so there you go i, I that's my big prediction so all right so just don't forget your mouth to the metal god's ears <laughs> <laughs> all right uh the first song oh, oh by the way, the album is, is called uh as above so below uh is there some meaning behind that for that being the title Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I mean, our it it has an underlining meaning as far as the uh, the tone and the lyrical content of the uh, of the album. Um, mm -hmm. Also, in our rehearsal space at the time, we did have a nice big banner that had that on it. So we oh. were staring at that phrase for the entire time. So it kind of kind of molded itself around itself to create this uh this iteration of our music nice yeah because I, I know it's the sixth song I, I, you know uh you know as above so below so and i was like okay maybe it's in honor of the song but i had to ask it was like okay why this title so um that you know uh, interesting at least to me it is so it's all good uh let, let's go to the album then the first song's called uh, mm -hmm. reduced to ash that's a heavy little dude, uh, uh, Diddy, right there. It's like good gravy, nice. That's it, right yeah, there. Like yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 tell us about the song. Yeah, uh, you know, I I tell you what, real quick. Let me let me let me extend this a little bit if I could. When you're creating the the album, uh, are, uh, who's doing the music and who's doing the lyrics? So, um. For this particular album, mm -hmm. I wrote the music, um, and then our uh, our original drummer, uh, uh, our vocalist Max, and myself um, all contributed to the lyrics. But the lyrics were mainly between Max and uh, the other drummer. Oh, okay, Frank. okay, yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. That's a beautiful thing. Everybody gets to have a, their piece in there, and I like that a lot. Um, yeah, I, I yeah, found that a, a good mutual investment. Uh oh, okay. Uh, sorry, that's okay. Can, the la the last thing you just said, I want to make sure everybody heard because I, I, I I'm sorry, you froze for a second there. So, uh, what what was uh, what did you just say? Uh oh, uh oh, we may have lost Frank. Uh oh, I oh, said it's, it's it's nice right because it's a mutual investment. I'm right here. Okay, I'm right here. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were we were having it freeze up on us, but uh, you know, I, I want everything you say okay. to be heard. So, so uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, I so let's you. You know, there we go. All right, so let's get back on 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 track then. Trust me, that was normal for every show. It happens. So you know, you just become one of the family. So good job right there, and it's it's not a bad thing. So you know, welcome aboard. Uh, so uh, redu reduced to ash. What's uh, what's that song about? So uh, uh, I'm sure most of your listeners would have watched Evil Dead at least once at in their least. life. Mm -hmm. Better, they <laughs> better have. Uh, mm -hmm. So that song is basically written off of uh, an homage to Evil Dead. I think that's a beautiful so, thing. So uh, we wrote it um, based off of that. I had some really, uh, yeah, exactly. I had I had some really cool riffs to it, and uh, the lyrics went through a couple of, of nice iterations. My favorite part of that song is uh, when, they, uh, when we have the little break and Max comes in and says, let's carve ourselves a witch, yeah. you know, and then we go into a nice break. Thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. That's, that's one of my favorite songs to play. That's a, yeah. I, oh, I can fully understand that. Uh, absolutely. 
Uh, yeah, I was very, very proud of you guys. It was like, yeah, there's Evil Dead in here. Very good, very good. So right, right up my alley of, of what I like. Uh, <laughs> so I was very, very proud of you guys. Uh, let, let's keep things rolling. Uh, this is a, a, a song that I really dug as well. Uh, I just think this is a really cool song, you know, Deaf Gods. And I just think that, yeah, that's a really good, strong, powerful song. Uh, I, I would love to know what the origin of that song is, if I could, or if we could. So sure. Um, so with Deaf Gods, we have um, we have a song based upon. Oh. However, you want to interpret it to part of the lyrics. It's for um, the. Are you good? Am I coming you, through? You're coming through. You're you're freezing, um, quite okay. a bit here. Uh, oh, you you are a little bit too on my end, but oh really? Okay, I'm good. I'm good if you're good. I'm good if you're good. Sure, okay. sure. Like I said, that fits right in with the way the show goes, so it's it's all good. <laughs> so, okay. So start, so, start so over Def God, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll start over. Please. So Deaf Gods is um is a song that's written about uh it's it's kind of got general lyrics for anybody that's disenfranchised by religion per se. Mm -hmm no matter what type of religion it is. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we're a metal band, so we have to make it sound a little extra. Right. But uh, the song is based upon uh, if you have been let down by a faith that you're supposed to have that doesn't do that for you. It mm -hmm. feels like your prayers are going upon deaf ears. Uh, that, uh, that, that, that it's no one's listening to me up there. So right. that's that's really what the what the connotation of the of the perspective of the song is supposed to be. Um, and as the person's going through, um, the person's feeling like their demons are taking over themselves, you know. And that that's the strife that's winning when they're trying to do the right thing and they get being oppressed. It's a strong so. subject matter. There's definitely nothing wussy about your album whatsoever. So. <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah, you know, and that was another reason why I was hoping to get you guys on the show because the, the songs aren't wishy washy at all. They're very strong, very powerful. And if you listen close and listen to the lyrics, it's like, okay, all right. I, I don't know who tinkled in their cornflakes, but they, they're a little angry <laughs> up in New York. I was like, oh, okay. So I like that. That, mm. that goes back to that feeling of uh power i i you know there's just nothing wimpy about the music at, at all and uh and, and good writing you know with it the the lyrics are good and, and strong to go with the music so it's a win-win you know i think both the music and the lyrics you know are excellent and uh and yeah i love it a lot uh let's let's move on. this is the the uh, the uh secret bonus song as we'll call it this one uh skull vessel Ooh, that's a great name for a band. No one take it though. It's mine. Okay, there we go. I just had to throw that in. There. <laughs> yeah. We are copywriting it tomorrow. Yeah. yeah so uh yeah. Skull Vessel. Yes. Right. Is yeah, uh is about it's basically I, I would say uh if you've ever seen Eyes Wide Shut. Oh you know, okay. that that uh I guess yeah. I guess that's an old school movie now. I would say uh, so. Sure, sure. If you ever see guys in my gut, you know, you have that ritual sex clan. That's yeah. the first line in the song. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a it's a fun song. It's supposed to be kind of like I guess kind of go along the lines of that of that movie, mm -hmm. you know, with mm -hmm. that kind of iteration of things. Uh you know, the whole flesh carnal sacrifice theme that uh, you know, we all enjoy in a good metal song. There you go. So oh, yeah. it's a fun song to play. It's not supposed to be meant to be taken seriously or anything like that, but uh, that's what it's based on. Good, good. And it brought us together. Oh, there we go. I, it, it, so that's a wonderful thing right there. So I, I love the fact that we've gone from Evil Dead to Eyes Wide Shut. I have to admit, <laughs> I, I, I kind of laughed at that inside while you were talking. I'm like, that's terrific. Uh, I, I, I dig that a lot. 
Uh, okay, uh, let's let's go to the next one. This is drawn and quartered, and uh, this is the one with James Murphy that we were talking about earlier. Uh, and uh, this is a really yeah. good tune. This is really really good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's another one that's just I'm crank gonna... it, crank it. You know, as loud as possible. I'm very proud of this song. You should be. I love this song. You sh yeah, yeah yeah. Tell us all about it, please. So we uh uh I I've actually been messing around with the riffs in this song for the last couple of years, and mm -hmm. uh, I was glad that we were able to put it all together. Um, we wrote. Uh, well, I wrote all the parts to the song um, except for those leads that James let uh, James put on it at the end. Um, but it, it's just, it's a, it's a nice fun song. We went through a couple of different kind of subject themes with it. And yeah, we had some really good lyrics over it, but uh, we felt like, you know, we didn't want to just be cliche and just be nailed down to like writing about movies. Mm -hmm. so we expanded the uh we expanded it on to something you know pretty metal themed which is torture you know we could all relate to uh a good picture of a uh of a drone and quartering from here and there um max mm -hmm. came up with the concept and uh i, I feel like it fits and you know because the song kind of does uh at least for me and jun it tears our arms apart uh oh. for how uh how tight you have to be with that song but uh so it's good i i enjoyed it good. and working with james was fun james is uh james cool. is a nice guy um he's become a good friend and uh you know he laid some ideas for us and uh you know he was very easy to work with and what i appreciate is he didn't try to shred us apart in the song as the guest he tried to keep it with the with the same tone that we were going with oh okay because james is ridiculous on guitar right. so he could have done whatever he wanted right yeah but i like hearing him that's how he is i'm you know that, that's great for you guys so uh let's go for the next one then uh war march which is that's the yeah that's the longest song on the album right i think well almost it's like a, close to uh, it. uh, yeah close to it i think it's off by a, a second uh to, to as above so below uh war march uh why, why don't you uh you know, how about what that song's all about so um war march is a very base song it's uh it's it was written as war march uh and we just never left that theme and kept it in there cool. um that song was meant to be brutal heavy dark um you know when we were when we were trying to flesh out our sound you know i love thrash but i i am i'm straight up i love extreme metal i love death metal i love black metal so do all my bandmates mm -hmm. um max is from a little bit of a different world so we blended a little bit more together with this song but uh we wanted this to be an evil song we wanted it to be an evil theme that mosh pits were gonna open up and do their thing in and it, it has proven to do so so Excellent. very happy about that Excellent. nothing wrong with a good mosh pit i've gotten I, i've been in quite quite a few of them i'm not anymore now but when i was fun yeah yeah i, I was good then so uh well let's get to uh the second most important thing uh other than the record itself where can we find your music online Oh, we are everywhere. Uh, okay, so we're cool. on Spotify. Uh, we're on iTunes, Apple Music, um, apps I don't even know the name of. Uh, we are on Bandcamp. Uh, you know, uh, another demon official uh, at Bandcamp.com, I believe it is. Cool. Um, you know, you can find this on Instagram, on, uh, on what you call it, on uh, Facebook. You can tag our music in Reels. Um, we're also on YouTube. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, you covered all the bases. Good, good. How about uh, merchandise? Yeah, we Where can really we buy tried. We were... oh, go ahead, please. Oh, so uh, on our Bandcamp page. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. um, the merch. The merch no, it's please. another demon dot bandcamp dot com. We have uh, we have a merch page on there with some of the stuff available, and very soon we're going to be launching launching our big cartel page. Um, oh, cool. We have a number of different shirts, um, patches upon patches. We have uh, 
Cool. We have patches, stickers, pins, buttons, uh, shirts, CDs, um, and flags coming soon. Nice. So nice. we have a lot of stuff. Good, good. I like that. Covered all those bases in there as well. That's good. Uh, any shows coming up for you guys? So uh, we just kind of finished our inaugural run uh, at the Shadow Cult Metal Fest in New York City. Mm -hmm. Um which we were privileged to uh, not necessarily headline, but we did play last. Um, and we're going to start recording another album uh, within the next couple of weeks. Excellent. Um, yeah, about 10 songs we're looking to do. And, uh, you know, we're going to be doing pre-production about two weeks from now. Nice. That's good to hear. I, I, I like hearing that. So that makes me very, very happy. I don't want you guys to you know change anything or whatnot and and i hope you you stay uh on the path that you're on right now because just awesome music and and i can't wait to hear uh the new album so i'll be i'll be counting the days down so uh you oh, know, thank like, you very much yeah man thank you i i really really uh looking looking forward to that so well my friend we're gonna wrap it up right there uh i appreciate you coming in and thank you for doing this with me. And uh, I, I I wish nothing but the best for you. And uh, you know anything that I can do to help you, just let me know. So it's all it's all good. So uh, so thanks again, Frank. I appreciate you doing this with me. And uh, you know keep it up. So like I say, uh, yeah, my friend. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone for watching the show. Thank you for getting those numbers up. Appreciate it. We'll have a new show for you uh, sometime. As you know, this is unprofessional at its finest. So uh, anyway, we'll get a show out there some other time. Who knows? But anyway, take care, everyone. Be safe. Rock on. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.